Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful exposure effect using a simple blending technique in Canva. It's quick, easy, and a lot of fun, so let's get started. First, I'm opening Canva and creating a custom artboard. I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels, but you can choose any size that suits your project. Once the artboard is ready, I'll add a cityscape image. Canva has plenty of free options, so just search for one that works for you. After selecting the image, I'll adjust its size to cover the entire artboard. It needs to fit perfectly for the best effect. Now I'm adding my own image. The key here is to use a transparent PNG, basically an image where the background is removed, leaving just the subject. For instance, if it's a person, you'll only want the body or specific parts of the image that you want to blend into the cityscape. To make this work, I need two copies of my image. That's easy, just copy and paste. Once I have the duplicates, I'll place them side by side on the artboard. Now it's time to start blending. Using Canva's Image Blender app, I'll apply the blending effect to the left image first. The app lets you adjust settings like the blending strength, and while it can be a bit tricky to move the sliders at first, you'll get the hang of it quickly. I'm focusing on making the most visible parts of the person stand out while blending the rest seamlessly with the background. I think I'll go with a lower strength on the slider for this part. It looks better that way. Next, I'll move to the right image and repeat the process, but this time blending the opposite side. To keep things cohesive, I'll make sure the settings match for both images. It's all about experimenting, adjusting sliders and settings until you find the perfect balance. Don't be afraid to play around and try different combinations. Once the blending looks just right, I'll bring the two images closer together, aligning them so they appear as one seamless piece. Grouping the images is a great trick here. It keeps everything together and makes it easy to move them around the artboard to find the perfect spot. Right-click and group, and you're good to go. For an extra touch, you can increase the blending strength on one of the images for a more unique and natural exposure effect. It's a simple adjustment, but adds a whole new dimension to your design. Just play around with the slider strength until you're happy with the result. And there you have it your own stunning blended exposure effect. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more design tips and tricks. See you in the next one.